there's the area uh, 51 M on my desk in the studio. I use it like a desktop. It's pretty silent most of the time. Running a uh, a doll. Here's a pretty intense session, which used to max out my CPU or get really close with the uh, 17R5 uh, I had with the i7 uh, processor option in it. Um. As you can see, this is about a hundred tracks in the session. I got a lot of isotope and a few waves, and I got a lot of side chaining. Like this bass guitar is really, really processed. I don't know if you can see it, but um, yeah, open up the, the inserts here. I got some, yeah parallel processing going on here and there's side chaining going into a lot of these compressors from you know snare drum and kick drum and all that stuff it's running helix native neutron uh, ozone uh, eq or mid side chain stuff pretty uh, intense session over 100 tracks a lot of a lot of things are just rendered little sense things and effect things background things that kind of add to the ambience. Uh, you got serum running, serum effects, and there's a whole bunch of stuff. It's not quite done yet, but yeah, there is tracks for days. And there's buses for days. And also I have for Ozone 8 running. This is, uh, I call it the music bus. Uh, I like, I do a type of mixing where uh, if you listen to a lot of like hip hop tracks done by uh, a lot of people really don't know much of what they're doing but they are able to compress an EQ their mic good enough on top of a uh, least hip hop beat it always seems that their vocals are so crisp because it's on top of an already compressed beat so I like to separate things a little bit off that theory I run Ozone twice I got Ozone 8 Advanced running twice in this session. Um, so uh, I, I keep my guitars from being compressed by the drums and, and the, you know, the loud uh, transients of the drums. So I'll, I'll do the drums and bass and the rest of the session's music and this, what I call the music bus. And then I'll separate vocals and guitars, that mid-heavy stuff I don't want being uh, overly shaped by the maximization of ozone and I'll run it again and I have certain game staging things going on a little bit of trickery it's kind of it's kind of in depth to get into but anyhow I want to keep this video somewhat short I got over 100 tracks I got a lot of things processing VSTs and instruments and uh, Steven Slate uh, drum trigger uh, or I think it's yes yeah, yeah, Steven Slate drums fours triggering off my MIDI kit on this and so it had like a humanistic groove I didn't uh, quantize everything perfect on purpose but I'll go ahead and play through some of it and show you the performance put everything on verse Ton of automation going on underneath here for effects. 
the render times are kind of funny because the processor is uh, definitely way better than the uh, i7 I had in the 17R5. Um, it was an unclock overclockable processor, six core, only one core boost. Uh, I'll just render it down to wave real quick. For some reason, even though it's a way better processor, more cores, more threads, higher clock speeds, I got the clock speed stable with disabling the Intel uh, step. Uh, I don't can't remember exactly what it's called, but it's in the BIOS. Um, only about 1.5 times faster than real time on average. And with the other laptop, which which had issues with uh, underruns with Ozone enabled how I use it because I double up on Ozone um, with my method. It would go 2.5 times faster on render, which is kind of odd to me. It don't bother me, I, you know. It the idea is my workflow is un, un, uninterrupted, and I can really just focus on the shaping of sound and not worry about underruns when I have every plugin on that I absolutely want to have on. But yeah, the render time is quite a bit slower. I haven't been able to figure out why that is. It doesn't bother me, but it's a thing. Anyhow, to you haters out there, you know, your Mac fanboys, if you've been on Windows a while, you know some tricks on how to set it up to make it perform well. Um, dollar for dollar, Macs cannot hang, period. So your little MacBook, MacBook Pro fanboys can get, get out of here with that. <laughs> So far, I uh, love the laptop. It takes setting up to do, but with any Windows PC with music production, it takes setting up to do. It takes some knowledge. It's not just as easy as uh, setting up a Mac. Macs are very convenient. I'll give them that. Very user friendly. But bang for the buck, it just can't hang. <laughs>